Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And today, a well, bit of a combination of scenarios, but um, based somewhat on a scenario sent in by Kelvin and also Phage Lord. Uh, Britain versus Japan. Uh, a battleship versus uh, another battleship and two battle crews from Japan. Now, my thinking here is that the British want not just a counter, but a superior ship to Yamato. Now, I have done the Britomo before, but uh, I'm thinking maybe I could improve on it. So, what, what was Yamato's displacement? It was like 80,000 tons or something, wasn't it? So, I think we'll go max size. I'm going to go top end tower, unusually for me, and I think I'm going to go compact, simply for that extra deck space, and it is a lot lighter than the advanced secondary towers. Now, uh, it is a British ship, so we're going to stick with good old steam. Uh, 81 smoke, eh? Hmm, could I get two funnels? I can, with only five smoke interference. Well, that's pretty reasonable. Uh, now then, what was the... Oh, it was 76? Okay, so we're just about the same... Same kind of weight class as Yamato. Now, uh, what was the speed... Because she wasn't the fastest ship in the world, by any means. Uh, but obviously, we want to be even faster. So, you might as well do 27. So, let's go balance boilers. Uh, okay, uh, that's a bit much. How about induced boilers? 30. Okay, 30 knots. So, we're going to be 3 knots faster. Hello there, Toko Karaka. Uh, beard, yes, I do indeed have a beard. Uh, I need to trim, actually. Um, nobody cares for 19s. <laughs> I'll have a look at the guns in a sec, but we're... Hmm. Yeah, I think I think I know what I'm going to go with. Uh, is this as far back as it can be? No, it's, it's not. Oh. Uh, try and get the towers... Relatively centered. Um, there we go. Now, gun wise, options are we've got Mark 3s down to 6, well, 15 inch with the Mark 4 start. So, for me, we're going to go 20s. We're going to go ABX triple 20 because screw. Some other nation having more firepower than us. It's the Royal Navy, damn it. We want to have the biggest, baddest ship on the planet. Uh, firing lock's pretty good. Actually, the ship looks pretty nice as well. I like that. Uh, secondary guns, uh, not really important on this particular scenario, so I'm just going to add them for aesthetics. I really find ships without the secondary guns look weird. Although it is much nicer now that we've got these uh, we've got the uh, what should we call it? The little lamps and things that they put put on the uh, ships now. And yes, I know two-inch guns aren't going to do anything against an enemy battleship, but they make me feel better. And they keep the orcs on board happy. Um, there we go. Actually, let's get rid of that four-inch. That should do. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Rule Britannia. Heart of Oak. Yep. Uh, start playing your favourite uh, Royal Navy tunes. <laughs> uh, 
is the idea. Just going to shift all the turrets. Well, not all the turrets, but shift the main structure and A and B turret around a little bit. Try and get the weight offsets about right. There we go. Okay, so looking good. Looking very good. Uh, let's get the rest of the ship built. So, Orx Diesel, good sh propeller shaft, standard bulkheads. Uh, now, obviously, if the Royal Navy is going to invest in a ship like this, we're going to want to have all the protection we can. We're going to want radar and a coincidence rangefinder and things, sonar. Uh, explosives flash fire chance is very very high so we're going to go tube powder standards with and I know I'm overweight uh, auto loaders just get and electro hydro turrets just to get that reload and turret traverse down uh, I can cut the range off for this particular scenario uh, What's our armor like? Armor's already good. Just want to round it off. Because all those point nines uh, <laughs> make me a bit like, eh. Uh, let's go down to an antitorp 3. That'll be fine. And uh, chat can start thinking of names. I want more extended belt. Uh, simply because I think a turret, uh, a shell coming in kind of here, I'm pretty sure this is extended belt. Uh, so I prefer it for that not to be quite as vulnerable. And 11 inches makes me a little bit happier. Uh, a little bit more on the turret face. There we go. There's not much you can do to keep out. Uh, enemy guns of this kind of size. Mm. Duke of Edinburgh. There, there would have been no Duke of Edinburgh. Where? At Duke of Edinburgh in 1940. Duke of York. Good name. Although that would already exist at the time. KG5 class. King of Fife. <laughs> Queen of Scots. Uh, a bit controversial. King of... King John the <laughs> Sixth. Endeavour. I like Endeavour. Not bad. The Jellico. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Controversial. But yes. <laughs> HMS Big Dick Swinger. I mean, yeah, sure. Um. Hmm. The Fisher, no. <laughs> well, they might have named a ship after him, I suppose. But I mean, it's it's like actually, I uh, I know, I know. To replace the one that was torpedoed and to uh, honour what uh, chat chat was uh, wanting me to uh, get going. <laughs> Bullying, <laughs> really, auto mod. <laughs> Thanks, Nage. Boating McBoface. The HMS Cyphus Kane, also good. HMS Hurricane. Hurricane, Hurricane I think, more of a like, destroyer name, but it is very cool. Anyway, I, I quite like that. It is not cheap, but uh, it is, it's is—it's got a certain something about it. And uh, it's certainly a rival to uh, Yamato, but, uh, of course, there's no guarantee that that is what the AI has turned up with. <laughs> oh, my goodness. HMS twenty is greater than eighty. <laughs> yeah, honor the royal leg. Exactly, that's what I that's that's what I was thinking. Exactly what I was thinking. Oh, thank you very much, Snapping Turtle. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that makes sense. It's like, you know, got torpedo very early in the war. Um British were like Ah, yes, we know we know what will Rename our secret project um, to rival rival Japan. Oh, Thunderchild! Yeah, that would have been good. 
<laughs> that would have been good too. Definitely. Yeah, it was. A, it was. A, it was definitely a a major maritime tragedy. Uh, I've actually been to Scarpa Flow. Um, not that you can see anything there. I mean, there's museums and stuff, but um, I have actually been to Scarpa Flow. Um, very, very interesting place to go visit. So, what has Japan brought? That looks small. That makes me happy. Let's uh, let's get going. For what? No. No. You cannot tell me that a ship this size, capable of going 30 knots, turns around in 430 meters. I don't believe you. It does seem to be turning quite well, though. Right, let's go and have a look at the enemy. Where are they? Oh, it's a... It's a modernized dreadnought. It's a Fuso. With nine guns. Fifteens. Okay. And what about the battle cruisers? Uh, the IJN funnel with three. A lot of secondary guns. And ten inch guns. Why does this never happen to me on Taskmaster? It's like Taskmaster? No. Build a sensible ship. What do they come in with 20 inch guns? What does everyone else get? Like 14 inch tiny guns. They do score the first hit. Uh, guns off one turn. Get turn around. Target the battleship, please. To normal. Three point two percent accuracy. Well, that's certainly decent. Uh, if you're watching this on headphones, by the way, I do apologise for the fact that we are now deaf. Uh, I recommend uh, <laughs> more Hearts of Oak on uh, maximum volume. A uh, Japanese battleship does look cool. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the battle cruiser. Oh, I think I was targeting the uh, the battle cruiser for some reason. No, 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 target the battleship. It's a miss anyway. Battleship, much more of a threat. Eight percent accuracy. That's pretty darn good at uh, twenty kilometers out. Score a hit, but it uh, was a ricochet. Ah, there we go. Lovely. Smashed through the deck just aft of the rear tower. Very quickly put out. But a big old chunk of structure gone. And a miss. Actually, up to 12%. I think this nonsense is going to ruin the aiming. Yep. Oh, another hit. Lovely. Just next to B turret. Again, put out very, very quickly. Ooh, damage to main gun. Hit B turret right on the roof, I think. Although it might have hit the face, because it was only a partial. That's long. Have I been aboard HMS Warrior? Yes, I have. I've been to uh, Portsmouth to start up there a few times. Ooh, that was good hit. Through the extended belt. 
Very nice. I'm noticing that the enemy's on an anti-parallel course, which is a bit annoying. I have to turn again. Also hitting us on occasion, it's even more annoying. Good hit, fire and flooding. Oh, we've got IDs now. The Amagi. 15 inch tube powder, super heavies. That's how they're able to damage us. 18 knots, so slow as anything. Maximum bulkheads. Armour is good, 20 inches on the turret. And the battle cruisers, slowish, with torpedoes no less. Rude. Good job I'm turning. Um, high TNT. Okay. So we're actually faster than their battle cruisers, which is hilarious. Krakatoa erupted. The guns are incredibly loud. Thirty inch, uh, the twenty inch guns are just insane. Oh my word! <laughs> Thank you very, very, very much there for joining the Patreon. My goodness, and I couldn't read. I couldn't read the name. It was too small. Shout your name in the chat. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, that's what happens if someone joins Patreon on a stream. Was that you saying, Canero? I couldn't. I couldn't see it. I'll, I've got a uh, notification though. Hold on. Let me. Let me check. I'm sure the ship is fine, I and mean, we're not going to run into a bunch of torpedoes. Uh, Patreon's not notifying me, but uh, it will in a moment. Thank you very, very much. Massively appreciated. Wasn't me. If it was someone who wasn't even on chat, that is quite funny. Oh my word. Three hits. That is bad for the Amagi, although we just took a couple in return. Comes the steering rig. 50% chance to hit at nine kilometers. Oof. Only one went through. This will be a bunch of ricochets. Still though, good damage. Uh, Amalia definitely looking worse for wear. With shell impacts. Oof. Well, like, meanwhile... Yeah, it has taken a couple of hits, but... Mostly fine. More shells incoming. <laughs> One hit. Oh, there we go. Six out of the nine going right through the Amalia's armor. Absolutely ruining the ship. You can't see the damage box because it's behind my head if you're on Twitch, but you can see it on YouTube. Fires everywhere. Oof. Oh, engine damage. It's a bit annoying. Another three hits, more flooding. Ooh. That is that is harsh. Firing back. Minimal damage. And in return. Oh. Two hits. And to 3% structure. All the engines are out. Steering's out. Still afloat though. But we're getting another salvo in. Down goes the Amagi. 
Okay. Uh, they are reloading their torpedoes. That's slightly concerning, but uh, let's uh, retarget the battle cruisers. this. <laughs> Let's get a turn on the goat, just in case they uh, get cute and decide to launch the torpedoes. 16 20 inch shells in Raptors, yeah. Just absolutely brutal. I think it was that, that salvo of six that uh, all hit at once. Absolutely wrecked. The uh, Yamagi. Oh my god. Okay, the battle cruisers do not stand up to 20 inch fire. Four hits and the Tsuki just is gone. Uh, just a fireball of goneness. Oof. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my. Yep, just four hits. Uh, one in the mid belt, one in the bow extended, one on a secondary gun, one in the mid deck. And uh, yeah, the whole ship is on fire. Uh, so much so that I don't think anyone could continue operating the ship. That is the pair of 20s. Uh, 20 inch too much. Uh, they can be. Um, obviously, nine 20 inch guns is a lot. But I am only using standard shells. Um, no, no, no. Yeah, it wasn't a flash fight. It, uh, it just died. <laughs> Got about 20% chance to hit at the moment. who uh, must be feeling rather nervous as two shells slam into it. Oh dear. That's not good. One four, one aft. Well, that's a lot of fire. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, no, no ship was ever built with 20s. Um, proposed, but not built. Maya is still alive, but uh, only just. Only just. And the Royal Oak is firing again. Oh, my word. Look at the size of the splash. Like, that's what, five times higher than the top of the tower? And this is not a small ship. This is a 34,000 ton ship. Um, yeah. Terrifying, those things. Absolutely terrifying. Abandoned ship. <laughs> More shells coming in. Oh, hit on the forward section. Oh, good. A lot of flooding now. Another salvo coming in. Oh, no. No, that was a hit. Right. Right there. Right on the tower, basically. Big, big, big hit. Yeah, 
that's a pretty tight grouping. Oh, oh dear. It's massive damage to the four section. Ooh. <laughs> oh god. Still afloat, doing a lot better than uh, a sister ship. Absolute brown trousers moment. I think uh, wooden warships would be worse, simply because how close it was. But oh, so a huge amount of flooding on board now. Sinking, sinking, sunk. There we go. Oh my word. <laughs> Thank you, Onion. <laughs> Pretty well timed as well. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, you're already a Patreon member. So did, did you just go up a tier? <laughs> that that was perfect timing <laughs> thank you so so much um anyway that, that that was a good one that was a good one i like this ship uh no frills uh but uh brutally effective i like it anyway uh for those of you on youtube thank you very much for watching uh link to my uh, patreon uh, down in the description if you too would like to do some epic timing and uh I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Trinots. Bye-bye.